Hello dear students till now we have seen theoretical part of circuit breaker now in this lecture we are starting with calculation part so let us starts with the calculation part of circuit breaker but remember one thing here designing is the secondary part but but first you have to know about all the equipments which you have to calculate for the electrical system so please go through the theoretical part very carefully and then you have to go with the calculation part so coming to the calculation part here is the classification of circuit breaker based upon the current ratings and the current rating from 6 amperes to 63 amperes is for the mcb miniature circuit breaker if the circuit breaker rating from 64 amperes to 800 amperes then the circuit breaker will be mccb molded ccb molded case circuit breaker again if you have to use current more than 800 amperes and it is also a low voltage system that is you are using this uh, circuit breaker secondary side of the distribution transformer then go with air blast circuit breaker but the vacuum circuit breaker or sf6 circuit breakers are placed for primary side of the distribution transformer that is high tension or high voltage only so this is the classification of circuit breaker with respect to ratings again talking about the sizes of circuit breakers which are available in market so these are the standard sizes with respect to circuit breaker you will find all these in the market easily next coming to some important points regarding our calculation part circuit breaker circuit breaker size depends on the load current which is full load current so we should know full load current of the circuit to calculate the size of circuit breaker next tripping time for high voltage circuit breakers or primary side of the distribution transformer it should be less than 3 seconds similarly tripping time for low voltage circuit breaker or you can say secondary side of the transformer should be lie between 0.01 second to 1 second next we have circuit breaker size formula which is equals to 1.25 times the rated current of a circuit or you can say full load current you can see that in this formula we are taking circuit breaker size 25% extra of rated current why i am taking this why i am take is uh, taking this extra percent so remember this is a standard okay according to nec national electrical codes according to nec 80% of the rated current is a safe current limit to flow through the circuit breaker so in the size calculation of circuit breaker we are taking safety margin of 20% okay this is one reason but there is one more reason behind this why we are taking extra 25% of the rated current this is for future load this is for future load suppose today if my full load current in a circuit is 16 amperes so this 16 ampere is a is the full load current and i am using circuit breaker with respect to the same load that and that is circuit breaker of 16 amperes but in some condition i have to put more loads i have to put more loads with more loads i have to put more loads which may take approximately 3 amperes of current let's suppose it is it may take 3 amperes of current therefore it is not possible to put the extra load on the same circuit because my 16 ampere circuit breaker will trip again and again that's why we are considering 25% extra for future load or as well as for safety of purpose again talking about the calculation of circuit breaker this is sld single line diagram or you can say one line diagram here we are getting supply of 11 kv from sub station this is the primary side of a transformer okay what i was talking about the primary side circuit breaker okay this is a high voltage side 
or primary side of the transformer. This is a distribution transformer. This is the secondary side of the transformer. For this side, we have to designing the system. We have to design our circuit breaker. There we have five feeders. Feeder one, feeder two, feeder three, feeder four, and feeder five. Now for all these five feeders, we are going to find size of circuit breakers. So it is very easy and very simple, I can say. Okay. So how much the load we have at feeder one? It is eighty-two kilowatts. So for the circuit breaker size, we should know full load current. Therefore, we know that eighty-two kilowatt is an active power, and this eighty-two kilowatt is greater than five kilowatt. Therefore, we will consider it three-phase system. Then power relation is equal uh, is P is equals to root three times of V I cos phi. Here we have P is equals to eighty-two into ten to the power three watts. V is equals to fifteen volts. Cos phi is equals to zero point eight. Then after simplify, we have I is equals to one hundred forty-two point seven seven amperes. Okay. This is the full load current at feeder one. Then come for the circuit breaker size formula, which is one point two five times the full load current. That is one point two five times the one point one hundred forty two point seven seven. Then the product value we have one seventy eight point four six amperes. Therefore. Then the available size for 178.46 circuit breaker is 180 amperes. Here we are going for MCCB because my current value is greater than 63 amperes. Or the suggested or proposed size of a circuit breaker for this meter one is 180 amperes MCCB. Is it clear? Similarly, we have TCL value. Similarly, we have TCL value. Total connected load at feeder two is 130 kilowatt. This 130 kilowatt is greater than 5 kilowatt. Therefore, the system will be considered as three-phase system. Then the power relation will be equal to root three times of V I cos phi. Then we have P is equal to 130 into 10 to the power three watts. And V is equals to 415 volts. Cos phi is give, uh, considered as 0.8. Then full load current will be 226.34 amperes. Again, we have circuit breaker size equals to 1.25 times the full load current, which is 226.34 amperes. Then the product value is 282.92 amperes. Okay. Therefore, the appropriate size of circuit breaker we have MCCB of three hundred amperes. Is it clear? Now coming to feeder three. Here we have load of fifteen HP. HP means horsepower. This fifteen HP is greater than six HP. Therefore, this is considered as three-phase system. Then the power formula is P is equals to root three times V I cos phi. First, convert this 15 HP into kilowatt, which is equals to 11.19 kilowatt. Because 1 HP is equals to 746 watts, then multiply 15 by 746, you will get the power in watts. Then we have the power 11 11.19 kilowatt. So after putting all the known values in the above formula. We have load value is 19. Uh, we have load current value is 19.48 amperes. Okay. Next, put this value size formula. Then we have the value 24.35 amperes, and the proposed size of a circuit breaker is 25 amperes MCCB. Here we have the value current value less than 63 amperes. Therefore, we have MCB of 25 amperes. Next, at feeder four, the TCL value is two kilowatt, and this two kilowatt is less than five kilowatts. Therefore, this is a single phase system. We consider a single phase. Then the power formula will be 
p is equals to v i cos phi, where we have given p is equals to 2 into 10 to the power 3 watts, or simply p is equals to 2 kilowatts. V is equals to 230 volts, and cos phi is 0 0.8. Then we have I is equals to 10.87 amperes, and put this value in circuit breaker size. This value in circuit breaker size formula. We have circuit breaker size formula equals to 1.25 times the full load current. Therefore, when this 1.25 multiply by 10.87, then we have the value. 13.59 amperes. Amperes is not a standard size of circuit breaker, so we have the nearby value of standard size available in a market is 16 amperes, and this 16 ampere value is less than 63. Therefore, the circuit breaker will be miniature circuit breaker or MCB. 16 amperes of MCB. Again, we have the TCL value of 80 kW at feeder 5. This 80 kW greater than is greater than 5 kW. Therefore, we will consider this refit system where P is equals to root 3 times of Vi cos phi and P is equals to 80 kW and V is equals to 415 volts. Cos phi is given uh, cos phi is 0 0.8. Therefore, I value we have load current value we have 139.28 amperes then the circuit breaker then the circuit breaker size is 1.25 times the full load current and multiply these values then we have the size of circuit breaker is 174.1 amperes again this 174.1 ampere is not the standard size so we have the nearby value of standard size of circuit breaker is 180 amperes of MCCB. So this is the calculation of circuit breaker which is very simple to calculate and very easy to understand. Okay, so that's all about circuit breaker. Hope you enjoyed this course. So if you have any query regarding this calculation or any other part of this course then please write to me okay so let have a bright future thank you